everybody, I'm Melissa Harp, the Plus Size Tarot Chick, if you are new. Hi and welcome, please subscribe and you will not miss out on any royal readings. The notification bell is greatly appreciated. And to recent subscribers, hi, thank you for tuning in. So again, I'm Melissa Herb, the Plus Size Tarot Chick, and I saw an article on... International Business Times that Prince Harry went missing for 48 hours and he was not happy with Meghan Markle. So also I read on sources that he only told Prince William. So I wanted to do a Lenormand reading around this because it gets right to the point. And I reshuffled my cards and I asked if he was actually with Chelsea Davy during the 48 hours that he disappeared. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. We're doing a five reading spread. So we have the garden, the coffin, the cork path, which is also Crossroads, the Lily, the Sun. So we're doing a five card spread and you want to start with the middle, which is the meat and the main point of the content. So this is a Crossroads. This is a choice. This is a indecisive path of choosing and thinking about leaving and separation and this is for entertainment purposes only so I need to put that disclaimer there so whatever you believe you believe so when we have the crossroads it's indecisiveness there's hesitation because there is a strife, strive for independence, but there is a choice that will have to be made, and this represents a card of someone not being faithful, and it's one-sided, and they aren't committed to the relationship. So this is thinking about leaving, and... I pulled up other cards and this has said the same thing. And now let's look at the story that is attached. We have the garden and we have the coffin. So when we have the garden, we have somebody that is the public eye. That means at a gathering or event. So it's PR, public relations, somebody who's in the public eye, a public figure. And this card represents somebody not settling down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're exploring their options. So somebody who isn't being faithful and is not committed to the relationship and seeing that there are new opportunities along their way. And next we have the coffin. So something that is dead, something that is ending, something that is going to end soon. And again, when we're looking at the coffin, it has to do with endings. There's going to be a transformation. And there's also negativity. And this has to do with somebody who has dark hair, dark features. And this could be a public ending to a relationship. Something that is going to end publicly. And somebody is going to get hurt. And when we have, the, this is the two of the, com, 
two cards together. And we have the cork path, which is not being faithful and decisiveness. And then we have the lily next to the cork path. When it comes to around love, I asked specifically if Prince Harry went missing with Chelsea Baby for 48 hours. The lily is a neutral card. It's a card that represents peace and quiet and also represents a male over 30 years of age and also somebody who is established and when we get the court path and the lily together the timing is delays it could be from eight months to eight years depending on the circumstances and with the cork path and the lily it's somebody who is coming to an ending something that is dying but this is a positive decision this is a decision that will bring peace amongst one or the other because when we have we have the crossroads and the lily that's the combination and then we have the last one which is the sun and the sun is a very positive card this is a a hot passionate relationship so there with the cards overall let's go ahead and walk you through this so we have the cork path, which is the meat of the content. And I asked around the energies around Prince Harry leaving for 48 hours with Chelsea Davy. So we have the cork path, which means indecisiveness, unfaithfulness. It could be unfaithfulness, not committed to the relationship. And we're going to look at the cards together and in pairs. So we have the garden here and the coffin. This is somebody who is exploring new options. Somebody who is not settling, who's not committed in a relationship, playing the field, seeing what other options are open. So this is somebody who hasn't settled down and we have the coffin here, which means coming to an ending. Something that does not exist is dead and it's going to be no more. It doesn't have to be a literal death, so please do not get scared of this card. Coffin does come to an ending, but it's also a transformation for new beginnings and a new chance at love. And this also signi signifies a troubled relationship. So when we have the garden and the coffin together, it's a public ending. So something will happen in the public that there will be a public ending or a public announcement. So next we have the cork path and we have the lily. And when we have these two together, we do expect delays and the timing can be from eight months to eight years because of the delays. So when we have the lily here, we have a mature male over 30 years of age and this could be settling down later in life but this is a calmness this is somebody who represents a new transformation and a new romance later in life and this could represent Prince Harry because I did ask a direct question and we have the Sun which is a very positive card happiness, celebrations, 
this is the most positive card. I love this card. I love the artwork on here. If you agree, comment below. This means a hot, passionate relationship it, later on in life. And as stated, because the cork path, which is the crossroads and the lily together, it can endure eight months to eight years, depending on the circumstances. But overall, it's ending to something publicly. There is indecisiveness and there is unfaithfulness in the relationship. It could be emotionally and could also be physically, depending on the surrounding cards. And with these cards, we have the garden, which is somebody who is keeping their options open, but there is going to be a public ending. And also the cork path and the lily, the time goes from eight months to eight years, depending because of the delays with the lily being next to the cork path, which is also the crossroads. And we have the sun, a very positive outcome. There is going to be a hot, passionate relationship later on in life after this transformation. And I'm going to go ahead and ask one more question with the Lenormand. I will be right back. So it did not say specifically in the Lenormand cards about if it's Chelsea Davy, but during the 48 hours it, over time, it, there was a sign of unfaithfulness. And I asked about the follow-up questions with the tarot, and I'm going to go ahead and put the cards out. And I asked, what are the surrounding energies around this situation? Because the tarot goes more into depth. Because Lenormand's more direct to the point questions. And that's what I love about Lenormand. But it's easy to start out with. But... Probably, if you're just starting out with tarot, with, you know, getting into the spiritual healing and stuff, you want to start with tarot and then work from there. But the choice is yours. It depends on what your liking is and what your focus is. What is the energies around in the present moment with the influence that is crossing and we have the chariot and we have the ten of wands reversed this is advising which is a major arcana a new direction and a decision has already been made and it's important to take control and navigate the path because of unfaithfulness because both parties are in the marriage for a specific for different circumstances and have a different idea and this chariot also indicates a move but this is important journey that has to be set because I'm feeling intuitively that this has to do with the marriage and this is supposed to happen. This is set in stone. But this can mean new beginnings. But it's going to be a journey that has to be taken alone. So, and then we have the influence that is crossing it. We have the Ten of Wands reversed. There's definitely ongoing stress with the circumstances with both parties. When you have the Ten of Wands in an upright position, it means carrying 
too much weight on your shoulders. Reversed, it means you are carrying more burden than what is than what it appears to be. So this has to do psychologically, but there is ongoing stress, anxiety, and confrontation. And every task that has been taken, it's framed as a potential problem, but it's important to lighten up and quit being so uptight and take the unneeded pressure off of yourself. And this has to do with burnout and also burnout, doing too much and have some space to rethink and reevaluate things. So what is surrounding the unconscious and subconscious, the subconscious and what is on the surface? So we have the Queen of Swords, which is on the surface. And then we have the subconscious. So something that hasn't come to light in the events. And we have the Four of Cups. I'm getting the energies intuitively. This has to do with a female, a Libra sign. If anybody knows about a Libra sign, go ahead and comment below. It's greatly appreciated because I am, is Chelsea Davy a Libra? I'm not too sure. Comment below and let me know, but let's go on. We have the Queen of Swords and this has to do with has to do with some, a woman, a successful businesswoman, and is mature and has life experience and quickly assesses all aspects of a situation. And this, I'm getting a female energy here and I'm getting somebody who is a savvy businesswoman, somebody who's very smart, very mature, somebody who has a good head on her shoulders and very trustworthy, very liked, very liked by everyone. And this is a stand strong card. And with this card, this implicates wisdom and intelligence. So somebody who is very smart, um, an entrepreneur. And we also have the Four of Cups here. There is some situations that need to heal from the heart. And this is, again, in the subconscious. You think you are ready on the surface, but you honestly are not intuitively you are not ready for it this is a path you are supposed to take but you have to get out of your old habits you have to go through the different events in life and you need time to heal and this is the card of feeling bored with life who I'm getting intuitively and this is coming through not being a prude who likes to be a prude in order to get satisfaction of others and this is a habit that has been going on for a long time and it needs to stop and next we have what is the recent past that influenced this oh my gosh the tower and we have the fears the hanged woman two major arcanas oh my goodness 
you know what they say, having a tower moment. There was an awakening that happened. And there is a major change that is going to happen. So this is set in stone. This is supposed to happen. And this could be a sudden change in the relationship. And also in dreams. So the, this is beyond the person's control. And you have to release and you have to open up to receive transformation. This is supposed to happen to make a change. And with both parties and wake them up because the, the, the events that have happened, it's very self-destructive. And the thing is, you have to release and let go, but this is supposed to happen because of the lessons that were not learned because one repetition after another, a lot of toxic patterns, this is, this could be a psychological tower. So it has to do with emotionally. And also this has to do with a lot of conflict in the home. This has to do with a big delay in projects. And you have to let go and stop doing past patterns because they are very toxic, which is why it's led to these issues here. And it's just overall, though, it's just overall, it's just very toxic. And I did sage before I did this because we're going into dark energies and we have the hanged woman which is also in the rider weight tarot which is the hanged man i love these cards they're so pretty <laughs> we have a fear that this one is like hey yo you need to chill out do some yoga or something chill out chill out <laughs> and Sorry, I had to joke around. <laughs> you know, this woman's just hanging around. Who wants to do some yoga with her? <laughs> so, anyway, serious, seriously, though. You have to see things from a new angle, which is another major arcana. This is a fear of being uncomfortable that you need to let go and have sacrifices made so maybe do some yoga and chill out <laughs> and we have and we have the <laughs> the influence what it represents and we have the seven of swords here whoa it's getting heated up so there was a threat this has to do with Selfishness. This has to do with it takes too much emotionally, and yet to discover the truth. But there is a challenge to the position. It could be a title. It could be um, the marriage. Because I did ask about the energy surrounding the events of the forty-eight hours. There is a, a selfish partner, so it's one-sided. But I'm getting intuitively, they are both selfish in their own ways, to be honest. And this person needs to be devious to play this person's own game. So basically hidden agenda and also shows legal problems, unfair or fraudulent business dealings. Wow. Okay. So we have the environment. What is the environment? We have the fool. 
it's not too late to take a leap of faith, but there's danger. But you have to follow your heart's desire and you need to stop being living in fear. Like with the Seven of Swords, there is opportunity to start over, but it's up to the person. But there are a few, a lot of major arcanas. Maybe this part, you know, the environment, there needs to be some yoga done to be chill. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <sighs> okay, so. This has to do with the matters of the heart. Sorry, <laughs> I'm laughing about the yoga thing. <laughs> So, this has to do with leaving home, also a new relationship, go with the flow, and stop being anxious. That's what it's saying. So, we have the short-term future, which is the Page of Swords, and from three months to 12 months, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, I lost battery. So, we have the Page of Swords here. And this has to do with a feminine energy. See, when it comes to an individual, it doesn't have to do with um, a person specifically, but the matters. And when we have the page of swords, this is an earth, earth element of the suit of air. And when it comes to this card, it has to do with legal documents coming up and also other agreements that will happen. So you have family around that is going to help further your ambitions and look at the advisors and look at the legal matters. And that's what I'm picking up. And we have the queen. Yes, queen. Queen of wands. With the sunflower, she is badass, isn't she? <laughs> See, I love this card. This is a water element in the suit of fire. We have two queens here. That means cat fight rivalry. So we have, and it's funny how this happens. This has to do with, There is two women. Oh my gosh. There is two women here. Could this one represent Megan? This might be Megan. Or this might be Chelsea. Who knows? Let's see. I'm seeing what I pick up intuitively. And... If it is a person, it's an entrepreneurial spirit, which is also entre another entrepreneurial spirit. So somebody who is a public figure, has a spark for communication, a public figure who is sociable, and like the queen here, This person's very intuitive and somebody who loves nature and animals. And this could be a person and if it is an influence, so it's saying, do not hold back. Also manage your time life and also express yourself in a positive way and intuitively you know you have the strength you need and you thrive around people who are friends and family and when we have two queens here though guys fighting there is competition and rivalry which is so so somebody is going to win it's going to be 
somebody is going to get hurt and somebody is going to win so it's either one or the other but there are legal matters of the heart it's important to trust your intuition there are two women that are here we have a very beautiful feminine energy there are going to be tower moments that were in the past which caused a lot of paranoia and yeah this is it guys this is what i have oh and we have the three of pentacles here which is at the bottom of the deck which is like the meat and sandwich of the reading but when it comes to the three of pentacles this has to do with earth elements it could represent prince harry you're ready to let go you're ready to move on because of the sensitive matters And this has to do with creativity and also you will be successful in what you do but there is going to be envy around you so no matter what though there is going to be a lot of people that are going to say positive negative and neutral things but at the end this has to do some this has to do with another communication card which pentacles means material things here on earth and this could be launching you know with lectures this has to do with speaking so a lot of public speaking um traveling this could be from I'm getting artistic and it's important to be comfortable to getting uncomfortable. You want to, you want to be confident. You want to hold your power and you want to be strong in this life and and this is a friendly reminder to not let matters negative matters and hearsay leave you leave you thinking bad because at the end though life goes on the show must go on and you want to like you want to move forward yes nobody's perfect we are all human but if this has to do with an arrangement this has to do with an arranged marriage something of legal documentation that has happened that, that pertains to the marriage and i'm getting intuitively that I'm picking up here that it has to do with something signing of a contract with marriage and also with moving forward because no matter what at the end of the day no matter who you are as a person I'm getting the message that you want to be true to yourself stop being stubborn and be open to receiving and this is the important message that i have today for this reading Ooh, that was a lot guys overall there are there is two women and it's funny how the cards picked up this too wow it's very interesting that's for sure and that's the positive note guys and like i said the show must go on nobody is perfect public figures are not perfect and things do not always appear what they seem so i'm melissa herb 
I'm intrigued to see what you um what you thought about this reading go ahead and comment below if you want to see more of these type of readings and I'll be happy to add tarot in with the Lenormand or if you just want one just comment below and share your thoughts so I'm Melissa Herb the plus size tarot chick I will link the article below from where I got this and from got the information which source so have a great day everybody great week afternoon and evening be well take care bye Return to